what's up? Welcome back to an exciting episode of Fandom Fights. We're here. It's a team's match. We are in the finals of Formula Number One. The people playing don't quite know what that means beyond the brief explanation I just gave them before the match. Uh, but Formula Number One, one of three options for Jake and Mark to choose to play in their contender match. We have Galactes Nuts going up against Wrong Side of the River. Uh, wrong side of the river, winning their last match to get them here. Uh, to play Galactes Nuts, who the last time we saw them uh, together as a team was challenging for the belt at the begin, uh, the vacant belt at the beginning of the year, uh, losing to Duel of the Fates, who are still champions today. Uh, both great teams, wrong side of the river, had a great match against Rule of Two, just missing out on getting to their first contender match. So they're hoping to win here today. Uh, and maybe they'll be nice, be nice to Jake and Mark. And then they'll get picked. But Galactic's Nuts also back in the search uh, for a title to add um, a second one to, to their camp, given that they now uh, have the single champion on their team. Should be exciting stuff. Uh, I'm excited to, to see what they say in the promos. They have a single champ? I wasn't told this. What the fuck? What? This is a shock? This is unfair? This is shenanigans? This is chicanery? God! Oh, Tom well. foolery. Tom foolery. All of that stuff put together. How you doing? I'm good. I, every time we get to play with you, I'm just happy to be here, man. So um, yeah. I'm ready to go. You ready to go? I'm I'm ready to go. I love. I've not. I haven't really. Pl- I've never played or met Abel before, and that's great. And he seems like a cool guy. And Antonio has beaten me at everything ever that I've ever played him in. So he's just one of those people who does that. So I'm excited to play him again. So uh, I think we're gonna have a really uh, great time. So uh, uh, Rue looks to me like I got all the horses. Looks to me like they're on the wrong side of the river. There we go. Hey, boys. Hey, Don. It is. I can't believe you guys haven't played since the title match. So much has happened since then, including Craven the Hunter here being the new fandom singles champion. Uh, I'm mentioning this name. I don't know who that is. You will by the end of this year. Trust me. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, guys, I'm really excited for you guys to finally get back in the ring against just a great team. Uh, who gave our other boys uh, some trouble. How are you guys feeling coming into this one? I feel tired and gassy. <laughs> tired but ready as hell, for sure. All right, let's do this. I got no words. I got nothing. <laughs> uh, we're back from those promos. No technical difficulties whatsoever. Uh, everything's smooth sailing. Everyone's tired. And yet, they're here to play trivia. Sleep be darned. I'm excited. Uh, let's get into round number one. Uh, round number one is going to work like this. There's going to be 10 questions for the realm of fandom fights. Each player is going to have 15 seconds to write down their answer. At the end of 15 seconds, I'll say pens down. And the players will reveal their answer and say it aloud. Each correct answer is worth one point apiece. And should any individual player get all 10 questions correct in round number one, they would receive a bonus question. Each team will have three repeats, one challenge for the entirety of the match. Teams, any questions as we get into round number one? Uh, Rue, you happy now? Uh, no, I was going to ask Nick whether or not I could ask you to like put your sleeves back on. I feel slightly inadequate. <laughs> <laughs> I feel great. All right, great. We're going to get uh, question number one now. Come to the category of DC. What parts of her body does Gabriel lose at the end of Constantine? Um, Tim's not here. He's jamming, teaching his daughter to uh, play the drums. I forget what the, there's like a fun term that might sound wrong, so I don't want to say it. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, we'll go to Abba. Wings. Oh. Go to Jacoby. That makes sense. I said eyes. We'll go to Antonio. And uh, Ruth. She needs some Red Bull. Wings. <laughs> Indeed. Does. Wings is correct. Uh, Galactic's Nuts takes a 2-1 lead as we get to the second question, which comes to the category of Disney animation. Which Disney animated film features the main villain getting blown up by a firework? There's a little carnival near me um, that's been like going for the month of June, or June, July, which it's not anymore because it's October-ish, September. Um, but back in July, there that fair was happening, and they set off fireworks all the time, and it's great for my sleep. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Now we'll go to Jacoby. Mulan. Antonio. Mulan. Uh, Rue. 
That makes much more sense than Frozen. And uh, <laughs> really, well. Mulan. Mulan is correct. Uh, enough widens the lead four to two as we get to the third question. It comes in the category of Planet of the Apes. What is the name of Fade's colonel and religious fanatic in Tim Burton's Planet of the Apes? We just need first name because not. Ooh, sure. If they just have last name. If they do, can't imagine they're that important. Colonel. Hmm. Answers in five, four, three, two, one. Panzano will go to Antonio. I think I'm thinking of the wrong character. Seamos? We'll go to Rue. Atar. Go to Abel. No, I didn't have any. And Jacob. Oh, I also said Atar. 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 Hey. Um, so with that, wrong side of the river ties it up. Uh, it's four to four as we get to the fourth question. Comes the category of Marvel. Who plays Quicksilver in X-Men Days of Future Past? When that was coming out, I, I didn't realize it was based off a comic book. Um, I, I hadn't read that one at the time. But I was like, what a dumb title. Future past. Like, what? Pick one. Isn't that just the present? The past's future? That's now. Stupid title. Thank you for agreeing. Five, four, three, two, one. Great. Pens down on a root. Jeffrey, I mean, Evan Peters. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go to Abel. Evan Peters. We'll go to Jacoby. The guy, mayor of East Town. No, I'm sorry, Evan Peters. <laughs> and Antonio. Ralph Boner, not Evan Peters. <laughs> That was the best one. Uh, that is correct uh, on all accounts. Uh, six off as we get to the next question, which comes to the category of DreamWorks. What is the first name of the young boy who is the first human to believe in and see Jack Frost in Rise of the Guardians? I believe there are no more rounds today. This question gets pushed off. Yeah, they're very different. Right. I root for people to fail, so I can have an easier life. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Abel. Jamie. We'll go to Jacoby. Charlie. We'll go to Antonio. Billy. <laughs> and Rick. <laughs> Said Danny. Interesting that they all ended in E, but uh, one is correct. Jamie. Jamie, Jamie is the correct answer. So Abel will hit that. Uh, give nuts the leads seven to six as we move to the next question, which comes in the category of the worlds of DC. Which worlds of DC film features a teacher being forced to walk off the roof of a school? Oh, I know it, Jamie, from Just Friends. Jamie. Is his name, is his name Jamie. Jamie? Is it Jamie Bennett? Is that his name? Could be. I don't remember because I don't play anymore, but I'll look it up. Oh, cool. Jamie smiles. Takes me miles. Five, four, three. That's my Christmas movie every year. One. Me too. Oh, shit. We should be friends. Oh, we'll go to Jacoby. Uh, it's a real dark scene. Uh, Shazam Fury of the Gods? Uh, Antonio. I'm glad I suffered for this movie. Shazam Fury of the Gods. Rue. They did my man dirty. Uh, Shazam Fury of the Gods. <laughs> and uh, I actually thought this movie was pretty good. Shazam Fury of the Gods. I don't know how good, but like I didn't hate it. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Like it was there's worse in terms of DC use Yeah, like it's up there. Anyway, it's correct. So good job, everybody. Uh <laughs> nine to eight. As we move to the next question, which comes in the category of sci-fi icons. Who voices Megatron in Transformers Revenge of the Fallen? Um, not to give too much away about this film, but I, before seeing it, always thought like it was, it was those who had fallen, like dead, back, get revenge. But there's a character called the Fallen. This is stupid. Oh, what do you want to name him, honey? Let's name him The Fallen. 
Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. I don't know where we are. So, Antonio. Hope he stuck around for more than one movie. Hugo Weaving? We'll go to Root. Hugo Weaving. Abel. Hugo Weaving. And Jacoby. Hugo Weaving. Hugo Hugo (laughs) Weaving is correct. Clean sweep. Keep in pace. Uh, Let's get to the next question, which comes in the category of James Bond. How does Max Zorin die in A View to a Kill? Oh, shoot. I don't want to sing the theme. It could trigger a memory in someone's mind. It's like, oh, yeah, it's that movie. Great, great theme, though. Yeah, actually say the score. The score is amazing. Mm-hmm. Debatable. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down. We'll go to root. False to his death. We'll go to Abel. Fans into the fire. False to his death. <laughs> that will go to Jacoby. All I remembered is that there was a blimp, so I said falls to his death. <laughs> And Antonio. And that's where I fuck it up, because I said, throw off a helicopter. Uh, falls to his death is correct. He falls off the Golden Gate Bridge, so he's not thrown out of a helicopter, unfortunately. So uh, with that, wrong side of the river will tie it up. It is 12-all. Oh, uh, shit. As we move to the penultimate question, it comes in the category of Middle Earth. Fuck. <laughs> Who is the first character to speak to Aragorn in The Fellowship of the Ring? That's a good That movie's bad. Uh, I, I love it. Taught me a lot as a high schooler. I was like, oh, girls. No. Five, four, three, two, Repeat. one. Down. Oh, yep. I heard the repeat. That was Rue, right? Yes. Okay, cool. It was yep, awful. Uh, <laughs> we're on side of the river's first repeat question again. Who is the first character to speak to Aragorn in the Fellowship of the Ring? Maybe. Let's... I'm just playing just friends like in my head right now. <laughs> Finally, I'm just watching it in, in my head. <laughs> I literally changed it to like five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with Abel. Frodo. Go to Jacoby. I said Sam. Go to Antonio. Sam. And uh, Root. I switched from Sam to Frodo. Frodo is the correct answer. Uh, so, one point apiece. We will stay tied. All uh, right, so we move to the final question. It comes to the category of Star Wars. In The Empire Strikes Back, while speaking to the bounty hunters, Vader motions to Boba Fett and forbids what specifically? This is a good movie. As Tim would say. Yeah. Many bad movies came after this. But this one. This is good. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hands down. Start with Jacoby. I said no vaporizing? We'll go to Antonio. No disintegration. Ah, God damn it. So sorry. Go to Root. I just said killing on solo. And Abel. Disintegration. Disintegration. No disintegrations is correct with that. Galactic's nuts will pull ahead on the final question. Uh, they get their score for 15. Wrong side of the river, close behind with 13. That'll bring us to the end of round number one. Uh, but anything can happen as we get into round number two. Here's our round number two is going to work as the wheel round. We have a wheel with eight fan categories on it, as well as spinners and opponents' choice. Each team will get a spin at the wheel. If they like what they spin the first time, they keep it. If not, they can choose to spin again, but they will be forced to keep what they spin the second time. 
You'll get five questions in the chosen category, each worth two points apiece. Unless you'd like to check down to multiple choice, in which case it'll only be worth one. And be on the lookout as stealing is available in round number two. Your categories on the wheel today are Law and Order, YA, Horror Icon, Scores and Soundtracks, Wizarding World, Planet of the Apes, Star Trek, and the Worlds of DC. That being said, Galactic nuts. My computer is moving rather slow, so be patient. But you are in the lead. Would you like to spin first or defend? Great job, y'all. Go second. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> All right. Great. Good luck. We're gonna go first, and we're gonna let's go first, it. Jacoby. Yeah, let's, let's go first. This. You guys are gonna love it. Wrong side of the river. This will be your first spin. Oh god! Disintegrations, vaporizations. Oh god! Ah! Yes. Okay, we were t we were talking about this earlier a yeah. little bit. I think I I still think this we should do what we discussed earlier. Same. Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. It's such a broad category. It's like scores and soundtracks. Yeah, scores and soundtracks. Yeah. Shocker. Okay, let's do this. Good luck, boys. Thank you. Sounds like a plan. Wrong side of the river. I'll be giving you your questions in the category of scores and soundtracks. Are you prepared for them? Let's do it. Rue, sure. it had to happen eventually, right? Like, we, yes. we, we've been very lucky the last few times. So this we is, have. Let's do this. All right, your first question. Which DreamWorks film features the songs Cats in the Cradle and Live and Let Die? Um, Sounds like a one-off. It's probably Puss in Boots. Ooh, I was gonna say uh, he sings it again. It's either Shrek Two or Puss in Boots, probably. Do you want to let's let's multiple choice it to yeah. minimize steel? Multiple choice, Three. please. All right, your multiple choice options are: is it A, the Boss Baby; B, the Crudes, A New Age; C, Shrek the Third; or D, Kung Fu Panda Two? Oh, glad we didn't do that. Catch um, the cradle, come on, it's a puss. Okay, well, catch the cradle and live and let die. Um, um, when we get down, let's repeat the options. Because um, none of those. Five. Ooh. Four. I might have an idea. Repeat, repeat the, the options, options please. All right, your options again are A, the Boss Baby, B, the Crude's a New Age, C, Shrek the Third, D, Kung Fu Panda 2. I think maybe Benny. Did you have that? <laughs> yes, I do. I, I have them up. Um, okay, maybe let's go. Benny. Four. Okay. B, as in boy, final answer. That is incorrect. Uh, Galactic's next chance for the one point. Your options again are A, the Boss Baby, B, the Crude's a New Age, C, Shrek the Third, or D, Kung Fu Panda 2. I'm thinking Boss Baby. Yeah, go ahead. I don't see what else it could be. It's not Kung Fu Panda 2. Could be Shrek the Third. But it doesn't feel like a Shrek the Third kind of soundtrack to me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Baby. Yeah, go ahead. Boss Baby, final answer. That is also incorrect. We were looking for C, Shrek the Third. Wow. The frog singing Live and Let Die is the dead. That's all right. Wow. The singing for that. Guys, that's true. All right. No steal. Okay. No steal. Same score. Uh, wrong side of the river. Your second question is for the soundtracks. Who composed the score for Red 2 and Lilo and Stitch? Um, okay. I'm pretty sure. It's Alan Silvestri. Okay. Um, who who directed Red Two? If you remember, was it <laughs> Schwanky or was it um, Schwanky? I think it was Schwanky. He, um, you want to go? He for directed it? two, not the first one. I repeat so. the question. Repeat the question. Repeat All right, question. that is wrong side of the river. Second repeat the question again. Who composed the score for Red Two and Lilo and Stitch? Okay, so did Schwanky do the first one or did uh, Dean Parasol do the first one? Who did, oh, who now did the I'm second not... one? Oh, now I'm not so sure. It seems like the worst one would be the Dean Parasol one. And that would be – Dean Parasol would be two, right? Yes. Um, all right. I'm sticking with Alan Silvestri. If we don't get it, then, hey. Go for it. Alan Silvestri, final answer. That is correct. Two points. Nice. And a tie game. Wrong side of the river, your third question. What is the name of the title song sung by Rita Coolidge for the film Octopussy? Um, I think I could get this on multiple. I'm, I'm 
I, I, I feel like I can get it with you on multiple. I'm just trying to remember what it yeah, is. Yeah, me too. It pops up. Um, is it all time high? Is it all time high? That could be it. That wow. sounds. If you want to swing, well, swing. We're gonna sw- well. we're gonna swing all time high. Final answer. That is correct for two points. Yeah. Ah, go. I know that from Ted. All right. Your fourth question in scores and soundtracks. Michael Giacchino has composing credits on how many MCU films? Oh fucking shit. Fuck. Um. Okay. Okay. All all three Spider Mans, Thor: Love and Thunder. Um, does he have any more? Uh, multi. No, he didn't do multi. He didn't do a three. With Thor, he didn't do multiverse. He did. He did Doctor Strange. Um, that's what I was thinking of. Yes. Um, five. Did he do any before that? I don't believe so. I don't think he did anything after that. I again, we're probably gonna. We're just gonna swing. I'm, I'm right, thinking well. five. I cannot think of anything else. The three Spider Mans, the Doctor Strange, and and Love and Thunder. And Love and Thunder. Four. Three. Go five. It. Final answer. That is correct for two points. Let's go. Go. All right. And wrong side of the river, your final question in scores and soundtracks. Which American Spies film soundtrack includes tracks titled Helicopter Chase, Bridge Battle, and World's Worst Last Four Minutes to Live? It's American Spies. It's got to be Fallout, Helicopter Chase. Bridge? There was a bridge, but bridge could be... Mission Impossible Three and World's Last Four Four or Four Minutes to Live could be Fallout Two. You're right. It's either I, I think, think it's either, I would think Fallout Mission Impossible Fallout. Is there a bridge on in Fallout? I feel like there probably is, but there's no helicopter in 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 Three like that. Right. Um, I'm gonna say Mission Impossible Fallout. Okay. Mission Impossible Fallout Final Answer. That is incorrect. Galactic's not a chance for two points. Uh, hey Antonio, I might want to use a repeat here because yeah, go ahead. Well, we'll we'll wait it out a second, but four minutes to live. Five, four, three. Oh, let's use a repeat. All right, that is Galactic's not first repeat. The question again: Which American Spies film soundtrack includes tracks titled "Hell of a Copter Chase," "Bridge Battle," and "World's Worst Last Four Minutes to Live"? Hell of a copter chase. I thought Mission Impossible 2, but I wasn't sure. World's worst four minutes to live. Is that what he said? Yeah. Sounds funny ish. Do you know what I mean? Or mm-hmm. oh, Ghost Protocol. Two. Ghost uh-huh. Protocol, final answer. That is also incorrect. We're looking for Mission Impossible 3. Son of a bitch, I'm so sorry. That's fine. I mean, I wasn't confident enough. I, 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 After we said it, I was like, you know, there is that helicopter chase at the beginning where they rescue Carrie Russell. That's right. I didn't think of that till the end. I what just thought, like, nope, there's no helicopter in that movie. You're right. <laughs> or, but, you know, the worst minutes, I wonder. That will bring us to the end of Wrong Side of the River. It's round number two. They get a score of the 14. Uh, or, I'm sorry, 19. 15. Yeah, no, 14. 19. 19. 19. Uh, Galacti is not still at 15. Uh, but we will bring back up the wheel. And Mr. Melter, once my computer does what I tell it to do, because I'm in charge. Technology hasn't you worked yet. All right. This will be your first spin. I was trying so hard to get you guys to say Shrek. And I'm playing on the apes, so I have to keep it or spin again. I think considering what's already off the wheel, I think we're good. Yeah, I think we can spin again, because I think... Pretty much anything you guys could do just fine. Yeah. yeah. Let's spin again. All right. Come on, Planet of the Apes. <laughs> we can't. I don't see you moving. Come on, it scared me. Ooh, so close. Lands on the worlds of DC. Took a minute, okay. but there it is. That's fine. Oh, sorry, Jake. I think I took you out because yeah. it takes three minutes to. For my computer to react to things, but that's fine. All right, Galactic's nuts. Are you prepared for your questions in the category of the worlds of DC? Yes, sir. All right, your first question. Which worlds of DC film features someone being devastated over losing their breakfast sandwich? That's uh, uh, yeah. Harley Quinn, uh, Birds of Prey. Yeah. yeah. Go yeah, ahead. You just say Birds of Prey, right? Yeah. Birds of Prey, final answer. Yes, sir. That is correct. For two points. Like, that's that, that's that 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 banging too. Like I'll be honest. Oh yeah, bacon egg and cheese. Oh, yeah. yeah. Your second question. 
I'd be upset. Gal Gadot appears in how many worlds of DC films? Gal Gadot appears in how many worlds of DC mm-hmm. films? Um, Dawn of Justice, so there are two movies, Dawn of Justice, Shazam. And Black, no, not in Black Adam. No, uh, Adam. Uh, so, okay, so two Wonder Woman movies, Justice League, Batman v Superman, and Shazam Fury of the Gods, right? Yeah, yeah. Five. Four. Five, uh, five, final answer. That is correct for two points and a tie game. I almost said, I almost said something else, but that one is. Your third question. What is Dr. June Moon's specific profession prior to becoming Enchantress at the beginning of Suicide Squad? Yeah, it's like an archaeologist or something. Is it an archaeologist or something else? Uh, do, we want, do we want a multiple choice to just be safe? I think archaeologist is fine. Yeah. I don't mind swinging for it if you want. Right? Yeah, I can't see anything else. Wow. Archaeologist, will answer. That is correct for two points. Oh. The damn Indiana Jones came through. <laughs> is that so? Be- Hespera and Calypso are first seen at what kind of location in Shazam, Fury of the Gods? A museum. Museum, yeah. Yeah. Museum, final answer. That is correct. Two points. <laughs> 2319! We have a 2319! <laughs> and your final question. Mm-hmm. In the Suicide Squad, who is the only one to witness Peacemaker kill Rick Flagg? Is a rat catcher? Yeah, I was gonna say, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, go ahead. So rat catcher two then. Rat, yeah, right. Not the not the father. Yeah. Right. Rat catcher two. Final answer. Son nice. of a bitch! Dang it! I was so excited for a second. I was like, oh, we're gonna I get him on right. a second. Yeah, but that is correct. He's gonna fuck it up. <laughs> that is Eric, correct for two more points. A clean sweep of the worlds of DC. In the end of round number two, Galactic Nuts gets their score up to 25. Uh, wrong side of the river with 19. Uh, oh, shit. Go back in time. We had a 2319. Whoa! 2319! <laughs> we have a 2319! <laughs> All right, we're going to get into round number three here. Here's our round number three is going to work. It is the betting round. We have five more questions in the realm of fandom. Fights once the players hear the category, they can bet or they can choose who will take it. The other player will have to take question two. Teams can, they can reset for question three and four, and teams can confer on the fifth and final question. Uh, once they hear the category, they can bet anywhere between zero and two points on the question. If they get the question correct, they will gain those points. If they get the question incorrect, they will lose those points. We will play until someone is mathematically eliminated or we have reached the end of the match. Teams, any questions as we get into round number three? Nope. All right, then the first category you can bet points on is. Sci-fi icons. Let's get back starting with Galactic Nuts. Who'll be taking it for how much? I'll take it for one. And wrong side of the river. Take it for two. All right, your question in sci-fi icons. What type of transportation does the TX take to get to the fallout bunker where it is ultimately destroyed at the end of Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines? The issues I'm having with my computer are related to the events of this film. Probably Skynet coming up coming in here. Yeah, and its Google first ball. goal was to fuck up my ability to host this stream. Seems like strong priorities there. Someone's about to crash through the door and be like, Nick, no, you can't finish this match. The world will end. Too bad. Five, four, three, two. One pens down. We'll start with Antonio. Helicopter. And Jacoby. I also said helicopter. Helicopter is correct. Um, and on that one popping up twice, but wait, there you go. Helicopter today. Uh, Rock side of the river will gain two points. Uh, Galactic's Nuts will gain one. It is now a five point game. Um, 26 21. As we get to the second category that Otto and Rue have to take, the category is DreamWorks Animation. Yeah, bet starting with Rue. Dos. And Abel. That means today where I'm from. Okay. All right, your question in DreamWorks. Who voices Pip's mother Lucy in home? Uh, 
Five. Uh, repeat. Three. Four. Three. Oh, that is Galacti's not second repeat. The question again. Who voices Tip's mother, Lucy, in Home? Ah, uh, Home. There we are. They say it's where the heart is. If you were wondering, mine's is at a Wendy's somewhere. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with Abel. She's still from the block, though. Jennifer Lopez. And Ruth. Yeah, she is. Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez is correct. Two points apiece. Two points apiece. Uh, still a five-point game. Uh, as we get to the next category, you can reset who takes this one. The category is Star Wars. Let's get bets starting with Galactes Nuts. Two. And wrong side of the river. Two. All right, your question in Star Wars. I should tell you what's going to happen. If both players hit or if both players miss, uh, that'll be the match. If Rue hits while Antonio misses, we will move on. Your question in Star Wars. Name all three characters besides Padme who are present at the birth of Luke and Leia at the end of Revenge of the Sith. Padme. It's not a given, but I just put that there so that people know oh, Padme. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> A lot of the, a lot of the work. That's fair. That's fair. Because <laughs> that would happen. Because there's people who would do that. Yeah, I, I feel you. Five, four, three, a human, two, an acceptable answer. one. No, ends down. We'll start with Root. Obi Wan, Bail Organa, R two D two, and Antonio. Uh, Bail Organa, Yoda, and Obi Wan Kenobi. And your winners, Black D Nuts. Uh, the three characters we're looking for were Yoda, Obi Wan, and Bail Organa. Uh, so that Black D's Nuts takes the win uh, in what turned out to be a very good match. Some of you are going to be on the screen for a long time because my computer sucks. Um, great match. Uh, two very, very fun teams who I always enjoy watching, but uh, Galacti's Nuts showing that even though they haven't played since the beginning of the year, they still got to where it counts. And honestly, I think Wrong Side of the River had a bit of bad luck with opponent's choice today. I think they get another category. And we go further. We still went three questions into, into the final round, even on, a, on opponent's choice. Uh, this definitely was a close match. Uh, a little bit of luck favored Galacti's Nuts, but also they backed it up by showing they're, they're still here to play. So uh good stuff we'll start by talking to our unfortunate second place finishers today uh wrong side of the river uh guys as i said uh bad luck i think uh opponent's choice on the first you didn't even get to spin again it's not like i always hated that no. especially when i was playing it's like i didn't even do this to myself like i yeah. showed up and someone like said hey screw you um <laughs> With that being said, you, you kept pace with a team that's already challenged for the belt this year and currently has the singles champion on it. You were almost tied coming out of round one. And then had you gotten a better category in round two, I think this could this match could have swung your way. So how are you feeling about the match, uh, even though it did not land in your favor? Yeah, I mean, like, even though it was a, it was the, probably the worst category on there, we did that pretty well. We rocked it still. Shows yeah, that yeah. they're still pretty, like, uh, good. We only missed – well, we listen. I say, if I would have listened to this man, even then, we would have won. It, it wouldn't. Yeah, we would have been. We would have had maybe. It wouldn't have mattered in the long. They still would have been up. They still would have. I think the same thing would have would have played out regardless. It was still that one that neither team knows, which was the Shrek the Third, Cats in the Cradle, Live and Let Die one. And neither of us knew that, so we can't really beat ourselves up about that. But we played great. I think we kept on pace in round one, and 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 had a really great round three. You know, kind of kept pace till there. It's just they're a really great team, and it was it was a lot of fun. But how are you doing, Drew? Yeah. I wish you would have said Trek just one time. You said, <laughs> you said Star twice. And if you said Trek one time, maybe it would have been a little different. Look, we got, what, 21? 21 points in a loss? Um, and who have we lost to? Uh, two teams with cool, former rocket. champions in them. Yeah. Correct. So, I mean, I'm good. Tournament time. Uh, I, I, I love playing with this man. Like, it's it's – 
one of the most, aside from the other guy that's on the screen soon, this is the most fun I've had playing with somebody. So I, I love it. And we, we rocked it and we rocked scores of soundtracks a lot uh, better than a lot of people would. So. Absolutely. Yeah, guys, uh, you, you, you buried the lead a little bit. You'll be, the next time we'll see you will be the team's tournament. You've done very well this year. You've landed yourself a high seed. I don't know exactly what it is, but like top six, you could probably expect. Um, pretty is good. there a team you're looking to go up against? In, in Anyone their- seven or below would be, would be great. Yeah, that will happen. Okay, great. Wait, okay. I'm happy. Wait, you know. wait, wait, how many, how many teams are in this tournament though? 16. Eight and below. Nine and oh. below. I'll do that. Nine and below. You know what? You, you guys. You... <laughs> great Thank job, guys. You. Uh, I think you did great even at a loss. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in the tournament. Congratulations on a match well played. As we bring in our winners today, slowly but surely, as my computer responds to the commands, I am giving it Galactic's nuts. Uh, taking home the win. Um, first win since the contender match at the beginning of the year. Obviously, we saw Abel in the in the Phantom Frenzy. That didn't go as well as you had hoped. Uh, but since this is the first time we're seeing you back, it seems like you guys have been playing all year nonstop. Um, fantastic stuff today. Uh, there, there really was was no letting up. You're like, yes, they got opponent's choice for sure. Um, but you also had to play good in order to to cap the win because people like Rue and Jacoby can easily come back from opponent's choice against a team that's not willing to like still take them seriously after that how are you guys feeling about the win it's been a while since we've seen you does it feel good that feels great to be honest considering how tired he is yeah i'm sure it does feel go ahead, go ahead Tony. You, you talk. uh i'm glad to be back with this guy it's been a while uh but he knows that i'm just trying to like uh catch up to him now i feel like uh i'm, I'm actually putting in the work this time around so i uh, can't wait to see what we can do this time around so it's just the first of many steps towards uh, greatness. So I'm looking forward to it, man. For sure. And I just want to say, um, I'm coming for that second belt. <laughs> it's two championships for this guy. Okay. Nothing's going to stop us. All I do is win. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> these, these other guys, they're great. Rue, Jacoby. Little, lovely to meet you, Jacoby. Super fun guy. Uh, would love to play against them some other time but not right now right now we're going on to win championships and beat britney and tyler because that's that's all i'm focused on britney and tyler yeah Come back. <laughs> well uh in order to do that you will have to uh, to do that in the very near future you will have to be chosen uh by jake and mark uh as you are you are now the official choice for formula number one jake Give us a pitch to Jake and Mark as to why they should pick the nuts. Do you re- listen? I think it would be great if this year in fandom fights was the year of these nuts. I think there could be nothing better in terms of branding than it being the year of these nuts. So I think for that reason alone, you should get these guys in a contender match so they can beat you and get all the double belted. So it can really, truly be the year of these nuts. I think we would all enjoy that immensely. So that's my pitch. All right. Love to Solid hear pitch. I would yeah. just like to add, I'll pay you a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Well, guys, we'll either see you very soon in that contender match or we'll see you in the tournament. Either way, uh, I look forward to it. Congratulations on the win today. It was very well earned. Uh, and thank you to Wrong Side of the River, Jacoby Rue. Thank you to Abel, Antonio, and Jake. Thank you to Tim for editing this one and be sure to check out all the other great uh, matches we got going on in fandom fights uh, this weekend. This was the first of three later tonight. You'll see uh, formula number two and then tomorrow you see formula number three. And then uh, next week we'll see who Jake picks should be exciting. Uh, check them all out and we'll see you next time on another exciting episode of fandom. Fights. <laughs>